Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. So you're going to have these tiles set up in one, two, three, five, eight. You're going to put the first player on this symbol right here and the next person here. And if you wanted to play a third, you would go there. Then you will grab all of the dice in your color and you will uh, dignify these uh, by rolling them. And then you'll have what you have here. And what you kind of do is you'll categorize these by what you roll by the numbers. So you put all the fives together, all the fours together. And this allows the opportunity for the other players to quickly glance and see what you have for strategic purposes. And I wrote a little bit of everything. So what you're gonna do on your turn is you're gonna pick up a die and utilize. I'm gonna use the six, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, and you leave that die there. Then the next player will go. Let's say they wanna use the one, they will use one. Now if you land on somebody else, you move the number of pips again, so they'll move another one, and you'll drop a die off when you were there. So let's say green wants to use a four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And he'll put a die there. So that's kind of how movement works. That's all you need to know. How this is going to work at the end of the game is you're going to get the number of points for how many dice that you have there. So let's say uh, green has three dice here. He's going to score nine points for that. If he has four dice here times two would be eight. And if he only has one dice here, we get one point. So each dice is gonna score the number of points. You can see here that the eight over here is worth the most. So if you can get dice out there, that is very good. And you'll just write that down here on your board, how many dice you earned for each tile. Then you'll come to the area control portion of the game and you will have dice that will be out like so. Now, whoever has the most dice on this area, so this person has the most dice, they will score points for the pips on there, six, seven, eight. So yellow will get eight points for that. Orange has the most, so they're gonna get 10, 11, 12, 13. Green will score their pips there. Nobody will score for five, because nobody was there in this example. And orange and green are here, but orange has the most die. But let's say there is a tie. So they got three, six, nine worth of pips, four, six, seven worth of pips. So whoever has the least amount of pips and a tie will score. So in this case where orange has nine and green has seven, green will score the seven points. So you want, if you're tied, you want to have the least number of pips. You add all that up on your dry erase board. Whoever has the most points is the winner of the game.